Hey everyone, this is the third video of this playlist and in this video we are going to learn how we can get list of all the members from any telegram group. So I have been getting this request from uh, several people. What they wanted to do is uh, they wanted to uh, scrape all the members from any number of groups from telegram and then later on they wanted to add all of these members to their own group. Now there can be several reasons why you want to do it so we are not going to talk about the scenarios in which you would like to do it but you already know why you would like to add members to your group okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to break it in two videos in this video we are going to learn how we can uh, get list of all the users from any group and then in the next video i'm going to show you how you can add all of those users in any of the group which you want now uh, there is a disclaimer which I would like to say that you should not really be doing it and if you do it again there is some limitation that with one user account you will only be able to add around 200 members in a group. So if you want to add more members you would have to have multiple accounts. Now what this program is going to do is this is going to pull list of all the users from the groups which we can provide here. So this is just a sample group which I have given here. So I can explain it to you and then later on we are going to add more groups here and we will see how it works. So uh, if you are following my previous video until here is already clear you need to import uh, these libraries and also you need to make sure you have API ID and API hash which has been explained in my previous videos. So please watch those videos as well. Those gonna be useful especially if you're working in crypto space. And then what we are going to do here is we are creating a, uh, an empty data frame. And then for all of these target groups we are looping through all of these target groups. And then we are trying to find all the participants. And from all the participants the important thing which we need here is we need an user ID. We need a username. We need access hash. So access hash is going to be useful when we want to add these members in the new group. Okay, so that's why we want to store access, group, access hash as well. And then all of these we are putting in a dictionary and then from dictionary I'm putting it to a data frame. Okay, and then later on we are writing this data frame to an Excel file which is called members.xlsx and it is going to be inside C drive crypto folder. So I already have a file because I ran it. Uh, so I'm just going to delete it. So right now you can see the folder is empty. And now we are going to right click and we are going to run it. And I'll just show you what is the output which you get. Because I'm also printing this user here. Okay. So now you can see in this group we had three users. That's the reason you can see we are getting list of three users here. And you can see in the user we are getting user.id. Okay. So this is id. So that's the reason you can see I'm pulling user.id and then the other thing which we are getting is username. So if you just scroll towards right you should be able to see the username. Okay. So here you can see we have first name, we have last name, we have username. So we are interested in username. So you can get the username. Uh, username we are not going to use actually but uh, just in case you want to pull this username you can keep it. Or if you want to have first name you can uh, pull the first name as well. And then if you are interested in their phone numbers or whatever any other information you can get those information as well. And here I think uh, that's all we have here guys. Uh, there is access hash. This is the one. This is important. This We are pulling this as well. Now let's go to the file and then I'm just going to open, the, open up this file. So you can see the file has been created here. Let's open this file and we, we should be able to see a list of user IDs here. You can see these are the user IDs and this is the group from where it, it has been pulled and this is their username and access hash. So now I'm just going to add one more group. So because this program is going to work not only for one group, this is going to work for as many groups as you want. So I'm just going to add one more group which is called let's go to Dubai 7. Uh, crypto Dubai 7. Yeah, you can add any other groups as well. And now let's right click, let's run it. As I know this crypto the way has some around 1200 members. So it's going to take a little bit time in order to scrape all this. You can see all of these users, uh, users lists are being pulled and then it's going to be kept in this file. So let's wait for a few seconds because uh, remember guys the larger the group you have the more time it is going to take because it has, it has to process uh, for all of these user accounts. I think it's almost finished. 
yeah it's finished we can go here we can now you can see the file size is larger it is now 76 kilobyte so let's see uh, what do we have in this file so here you can see now we have username we have group name and we have username again we have access hash you can see guys for some of the users we do not have username that's quite obvious because some of the users when they set up their telegram account they do not set up username so or it might be private okay so you can see group we have pulled data for crypto the way 7 we have pulled data for a, a sample group as well so now in total we have around 1800 members and now if i want to add these members to any other group i can do that so i'm going to show you that part in our next video so stay tuned guys see you again in the next video